Before Troy Dan would clock in over half a billion views on YouTube. Recording my gameplay, and the next thing I know there was people in there, and more people, and it just grow and grow. So I quit my job, and here I am playing video games for a living. It's all right. Before Troy Dan would build a massive social media following with 1.8 million YouTube subscribers, 425,000 Twitch followers, and over 150,000 Instagram followers at the time of this recording. Before Troy Dan's Reacts channel, which also had over a million subscribers, would get deleted altogether. Now, you might be wondering, well, you'd be pretty mad. You just had a channel deleted with a million subscribers and 800 videos that made a lot of money. All right, guys, the last time I made videos here on Chris Move, you guys were roasting me in the comments down below. So this time I reached out to Troy Dan himself. He answered all my burning questions like what he wanted to be when he was growing up, advice he'd give to someone trying to follow in his footsteps, and how he got his name Troy Dan in the first place. I'm here to make up for all my previous faults in this one with you guys, but before that, we gotta give a huge shout out to Raid Shadow Legends who sponsored this video. Raid Shadow Legends is a brand new RPG game that has been taking me away from my work daily. It's literally that addictive. In just three months, it's already already been downloaded by almost 10 million players, so you gotta be sure to download it so you can tell all your friends that you were the one that got them into the game. Not the other way around, you know, you'll be like the new cool kid on the block. The graphics on this game are absolutely insane, and being a fan of other RPGs, I can definitely get behind this one. There's over 400 total champions that you can collect and customize, as well as an incredible storyline to follow. On top of all this, you have the option of playing either PvP or PvE, depending if you feel like making someone throw their phone after a loss in the arena mode, or if you just wanna play with some friends and try one of their epic boss fights. Now, best of all, guys, the game is free to download in the App Store. And when you download it, be sure to go to the video description, click on the special links, and you will get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. So you guys gotta be sure to check that out, download it, and use that link in our description. Really hope to see you guys on there. Now, before we jump into it, our trivia question today is, how did Troy Dan get his name Troy Dan? You guys gotta let me know the answer in the comments down below. I'll have the real answer for you at the end of this video in case you guys don't know. But let's roll that intro and get into this one. Before they were famous. Before they were, Before. Famous. They were famous about. <gasps> that was a pretty good video. I like this guy. Look, Cardi, cool. you did a great job. Michael girl. is never wrong. So damn, that was cool. How did he know that? Bro! Brian Daniel Warren Byers was born on September 15th, 1987 in Toronto, Ontario. Hey, he's a Toronto boy like me. He's the only child to Sherry and Bob Warren Byers, with his dad currently playing in a jazz band. When he was just four years old, Brian would use a cassette player to pretend like he was hosting a radio show. He would make up stories and even interview his pets at the time. Safe to say the man always had the heart of a true entertainer. At six years old, he'd get his first Nintendo Entertainment System. This would be the start of Troy Dan getting hooked on gaming. At age seven, Brian would move from Toronto to Nova Scotia, which he said was a total culture shock. Going from a major city like Toronto to a smaller rural town in Nova Scotia, Brian had a bit of a hard time fitting in. This would lead to him discovering the internet in 1997 and learning how to code websites at the age of 10. He was also a shy kid, so he really felt most comfortable when he was at home and online exploring the gaming communities. Now, growing up, he was never much into his academics, admitting to do just enough to get by, with most of his marks being in the 50s. Just to clarify, in Canada, a 50 is a pass. Although gym class was his favorite, after grade 6, Brian didn't really learn much during his studies. He would go on to attend Annapolis West Education Center in Annapolis, Royal Nova Scotia, which he said wasn't the nicest of facilities. Since his days there, it's believed they did clean up the school a little bit, but where he grew up, people don't really make it all the way through high school at all. Now after high school, Brian decided not to attend a college or university for obvious reasons. He hated school, and majority of people where he was from don't even graduate high school. Alright Stone Cold, you ready for this? No, you're not ready for this. He's not. He has no idea what he's getting himself into. This is something he's never dealt with before. Now, growing up, Troy Dan was also a huge wrestling fan. More specifically, Shawn Michaels and Stone Cold Steve Austin were some of his favorites. He explained that during lunchtime while in school, him and his friends would always try to do the wrestlers finishing moves on each other. It's funny because I did the same thing. Even though every wrestling show I watched always had the warning and told viewers not to try it at home because they're trained professionals. Well, at least they tried. Anyways, at 12 years old in 1999, Troy Dan actually made a wrestling video game nobody really knows about. He even admitted that if he had any connections to the wrestling industry at a young age, he would have 100% pursued a career as a wrestler. But unfortunately, it wouldn't be all that easy for Troy Dan. Before YouTube, he would work in a total of four different call centers over a span of eight years. From working for Sprint Mobile as a support tech, to selling office supplies, until ultimately selling car insurance for a UK-based company called Admiral, Troy Dan was keeping busy before the YouTube days. He explained he got into the call centers because that's all there really was for him to do for work at the time where he was from. Either that or live off unemployment checks, something he wouldn't want to do. Troy Dan would first try his hand in content creation when he got his first camera phone in 2006. Although he didn't think anything more than 
just doing it for fun. Mostly making top 10 lists that would garner about 100 views at the time. But then again, back when YouTube first came out, 100 views was actually pretty cool. Now in 2008, Troy Dan found out about Justin.tv, a streaming website where he would live stream prank phone calls out of his parents' bedroom. Thank you for calling WWE Magazine. My name is Amber. Are you a current subscriber? I'm a wrestler. Hello? Hello? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. What was the question? He would only stream for about a year or so on Justin TV, but as you all know, he would eventually start streaming on Twitch, which he would start in 2013. But before he found out about Twitch, Troy Dan was almost a personal trainer. In 2011, he took the course and actually passed, but never pursued training anyone. Aside from personal training, Troy Dan admits he might have even gone out west to Alberta doing manual labor, something majority of his friends from school and his hometown ended up doing. In 2014, Troy Dan would stream the popular game World of Warcraft, seeing immediate traction in the streaming community. Due to Troy Dan's increase in popularity online, he would quit his job at Admiral Car insurance to pursue streaming full time. It would turn out to be the best thing that ever happened to him. Although after a few months, well, his popularity started to decline. He would jump around from game to game after realizing World of Warcraft wasn't the right move, saying he felt maybe it was time for him to actually get a real job. All that would change when he would start streaming himself playing NBA 2K15 when it first came out, allowing him to gain a whole new audience from before. And being a fan of the NBA 2K series, playing every game since 2004, he was pretty damn good at it. This is when things would really pick up for the 2K master, who would go on to save the highlights from his 2K streams and upload them to YouTube after he noticed the YouTube gaming community had a much bigger audience than the Twitch community at the time. His first big video wouldn't come from 2K15 though. It would be a clip of him yelling at the ball boy in MLB 15 The Show, which would go viral on Instagram. Unfortunately, he didn't watermark the video, so no one knew it was him at the time. First safely. Don't, 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 why are you grabbing the ball, ball boy? He took it second. What the f is your problem? What is, kill that kid, he's stealing Oh, he's stealing home! It wouldn't be long before Troy Dan's brand would really start to grow, but when he started to make money off of the videos, that's when he realized he was the real deal. He could actually get paid to do something he was willing to do for free. Incredible. However, as any creator knows, it's never just that easy. One of Troy Dan's biggest obstacles along the way was to learn it wasn't a competition with anyone else. Everyone grows at their own pace, and to compare yourself to other creators is useless. It'll just discourage you and probably slow your progress. As he progressed in his career, Troy Dan also didn't have much help if any. To this day, he still creates his own thumbnails, videos, and edits all of his own stuff. And he credits Angry Video Game Nerd as one of his inspirations to get on YouTube and start creating content. He also credits Eminem, who helps him get hyped before he records some of his videos. He's the angry Atari Amiga, CDI, Coleco, Vision, and Television, Sega, Neo Geo, TurboGrafx, 16 Odyssey, 3 Geo, Commodore, Nintendo, Nerd. Now when it comes to things in his personal life, such as Kate, his girlfriend of two years, how they met is actually quite a funny story. Turns out she was his boss at one of his last jobs, but they barely spoke while working together. On the day he quit, she was the last person he saw, but they wouldn't end up going out until three years later when they would reconnect on Facebook. And when we asked him about previous relationships, well, Troy Dan simply put it, they were all mistakes. <laughs> Fun fact, this man's a savage. Now when it comes to some of his biggest achievements in his career, Troy Dan said having dinner with Shaq or being body scanned into NBA 2K19 was definitely up there for him. Especially since Shaq was one of his favorite players growing up. I mean it's no surprise, he's obviously a Lakers fan which he always talks about in his videos. Troy Dan admits he doesn't like to plan too far ahead when it comes to future plans. He told us he's going to be all over NBA 2K20 when it drops in September, so be sure to be on the lookout for Troy Dan's upcoming videos and streams. Now when it comes to his definition of success, he said it's waking up and doing what you love to do while being your own boss. If he had advice for anyone trying to follow in his footsteps, I quote, he said, Don't try to be like anybody. Be yourself. Try to invent something that nobody has seen before. There's too many copy and pastes of the same people out there. You have to be unique in this game to survive. Well, safe to say Troy Dan is definitely original. He even had a Reacts channel which amassed over 1 million subscribers, but unfortunately the channel got deleted after getting 3 strikes. It seems for now his focus will just be on the new 2K coming up, so you guys gotta be sure to check him out on of course YouTube, as well as Instagram where his handle is at RealTroyDan, and Twitter where it's just at TroyDan. But before we wrap this one up, I gotta answer our trivia question. How did Troy Dan come up with his name? Well, I'm going to quote him exactly on the story of how it all happened. I quote, This is a good one. The name Troy Dan came in 1996. The 
The internet had just come out to a library in town. It was the only way you could have it unless you were very wealthy. You could book time there and use the internet for 30 minute blocks. I went with my friend at the time and he knew more about it than I did. He showed me how to make an email account on Hotmail. I tried to use the name Daniel at Hotmail.com, but it was taken. It blew my mind somebody had taken my name. I then tried Dan at Hotmail.com, also taken. I didn't know what to do, but for some reason I took my friend's name, Troy, and put it in front of the Dan to make TroyDan at Hotmail.com. I was able to create it. To this day, I'm still using that username 23 years later. So there you have it guys. Hope you enjoyed this one and it made up for all the mistakes I made on that Chris Smooth video. Probably won't, but I'm doing what I can. As always, you guys gotta drop your comments down below with who you'd like us to cover next. A huge shout out to Troy Dan for taking the time to speak with myself and Mike. So be sure to check him out and show some love on the guy's channel. Man, we really appreciate it, so thank you so, so much. And of course, a huge thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. My name is Jared Bronstein. You can catch me on social media at Bronstein7. Feel free to DM me your suggestions on who we should cover next, and I'll see you guys in the next video.